Hi, I'm Shirley Caruso, consultant with WISE Training and Development and chief editor for eadulteducation.org. Thank you for joining me. Today's topic of discussion is improving organizational communication skills. Creating a dialogue is much more than simply having a conversation. It means you are fully engaged with the other person, giving them your full attention, and paraphrasing to check for understanding. It is being non-judgmental and open. Assertive communication is based on the belief that you and others have the responsibility to ask for what you need. Assertive body language includes direct eye contact and a confident stance. Assertive vocal behaviors use a neutral tone of voice with direct questions and answers. Make sure these assertion skills are in your toolbox. Acknowledgement. Let the other person know he or she was heard. For example, in speaking with an employee about a chronic tardiness problem, acknowledge the employee's explanation. So, it sounds like you were late because your alarm didn't go off this morning. Use I statements versus you statements. Instead of saying, you need to show up for work on time, say, I need to be able to rely on you to be here by 8.30. Repetition. Keep coming back to your statement of what you need or want. I understand you had a reason for being late but I need to be able to rely on you to be here by 8.30. Validation. Let the other person know you value them. For example, your work is excellent and I enjoy working with you. I need you to do whatever it takes to be here on time and if you're going to be late, call me so I can get your phone covered. Giving feedback without blame or finger pointing. Know the results you want to achieve. Encourage change by looking for patterns. What is the other person doing when the problem doesn't happen? Search for patterns in other settings and apply them to this situation. Don't ask, why do you have this problem? Fix situations, not people. Receiving feedback without becoming defensive. Receiving feedback can be hurtful and demoralizing. These tips will help you reframe it so you can use it to help you and not upset you. Actively invite it. This eliminates the unexpected aspect of it and enables you to be better prepared for what you may hear. Listen to understand. Assume the other person has good intentions for telling you. Ask questions. This enables you to get specifics, focus on behaviors you can change, and guide the conversation to be useful to you. Assess validity and importance. Ask yourself, is this valid? Is this important? Obviously, your response to something that is not valid or not important will be different than if it is valid and important. Understanding the difference among disapproval, Disagreement and direction will help you to disengage from subjective interpretation and focus on common goals. I hope you've enjoyed today's discussion of improving organizational communication skills. Please feel free to browse this site for information on adult learning theories and research in relation to practice in the field of human resource development.